In this video, I'll be uh, refurbishing, actually just uh, a quick refurbish of this NVIDIA GT220. Um, this body is actually manufactured by Dell. It, it's from a Dell computer. Um, I, I didn't pay a cent for this. I, go, I found this in the local recycling center. So it just walk in and take what you want. Uh, that's their basis. Uh, it eventually goes to scrap. It actually works. I tested it out, so there's nothing wrong with it. I just want to give it a quick refurbish. Um, so just a quick go around of the device uh, and some specs. Um, it's one one G. It has one GB worth of graphics on board um, this chip. Um, it's I can't remember the clock speed actually, uh, but it's uh, it's got one GB of DDR3 uh, VGA in there. Then we got your v standard VGA port, HDMI and DVI ports out here. So that's good. You got all three ports, uh, some bunch of circuits and stuff. And at the bottom, there's some, um, I think it's serial numbers and stuff. I'll try and cover those and show you. Yeah, so there's serial numbers and blah, blah. Just it just looks like any other graphics card at the bottom. So nothing special there. Um, so as you can see, it's really dusty. Um, the fan still turns quite well, but um, I'll be wearing a mask during this uh, this thing so that the dust doesn't get in my nose. So it'll be my uh, <clears throat> vocals will be a bit blurry, so bear with me here. But I won't be talking much in this uh, this this thing e video either, so I'll get started anyway. The first thing I'll be doing is I'll be obviously removing these um, screws and taking off this um, heatsink, and I'll be cleaning that separately. Then I'll be cleaning the entire thing and then applying thermal paste and putting it back. So that's all I'll be doing. That's basically all you could do for a refurbish of a um, old graphics card like this. So yeah. This is the um, refurbishment of the GT220, and now let's get started. Okay, so let's first start by removing these four screws here. I'm covering the uh, serial number there, but there's another screw over there. First, I'll start by removing these four screws. And like I said, sorry about my blurry voice. I'm wearing a mask. So let's get rid of these screws. Okay, so I've got gotten rid of the screws at the bottom. Now let's lift this off. Obviously, the old thermal paste is still there. Oh, that looks nasty. That's why I'm wearing a mask. So let's get rid of this plug first. Remove it. It's not your standard JST. Well, it's not JST. Obviously, it's something similar to JST. I don't know what you call those plugs. The other graphics cards of this size have that type of plug, but this seems to have a different one. It doesn't bother me. I have to take it off off camera because it's kind of hard. So I removed the connector off camera. Now I'll take this part off. So it looks pretty nasty from the bottom, as you can see there. That's the chip, the GT220. Um, I'm assuming this card is roughly four years old, four to five years old. Uh, but it's still a good card. It's one gig. So it's not a 256 or 512 or something awful like that. It's one gig, it's reasonable. You can play some games on it. Something like GTA, GTA 4 on low settings. Um, Warface, uh, the older modern warfare games and so on. So let's clean the fan first. So now what I'm doing is somewhat unprofessional because I'm not using um, I'm not using alcohol here, but you're supposed to use alcohol, but it's like, let me get this up. Um, you're supposed to use alcohol to get rid of the old thermal paste, but I've noticed that it's not really necessary, but unless you're like a professional, you're doing it for someone else, then go right ahead and use alcohol. Uh, it's, it's the 95% stuff, the special ones made for cleaning uh, circuits and all but I see no use to using that uh, I've been doing this for a really long time and I never come in across an issue where I had to use alcohol and it, the, I actually use alcohol to clean it and it just goes away just a bit easier that's all but otherwise you can just wipe it off with a tissue and if it's kind of stuck you can just scrape it off but if it's on the processor don't scrape it off uh, unless you're using a fingernail or something, but what I do is rather unprofessional, so uh, Don't do what I do um, Just this is just uh, I'm recording this just 
to see to show people what I do, but it's kind of unprofessional. So holy shit! Okay, that's worse than I thought. Okay, this it's good. I wore a mask. Who uses these things? I mean, I had my GT520 for about, what, five years now? As of 2017? I don't know. It broke, but uh, before it broke, I mean, after it broke, when I took it apart, it had only a really bit of the bare minimum of dust. It didn't have anything even close to this disgusting mess that. You know what? I'll probably go wash this. Yeah, I'm gonna wa wash this because this is obviously I'm not gonna wash the fan or anything that's connected to the power, but what should I? Um, I got an old toothbrush over here. Oh shit, that's a lot of junk. Holy shit. Okay, I'll be doing this off camera. I'll obviously be cleaning this and I'll cut to the chair point uh, to the next part in the uh, video. Okay, so I um, cleaned the, the fan and the heatsink and its uh, casing, so they're pretty clean right now, so that's a good thing. So up next is the CPU itself, keep these over here, the CPU and the circuitry itself, this is not going to be good either, because as you can see there it's a mess, so I'll clean that also and come back to the video. So I finished um, cleaning the CPU as well, as you can see there it's an NVIDIA. CPU. I don't think that will focus because that's really shiny and at an angle. But that's the CPU GT220. Um, just give it a bit shine again. No, don't use this method that I use usually. Um, I do it, but it's not recommended. Just using a tissue on the. Well, I don't see anything wrong with it, but I've been doing it for the last I don't know six, seven years. That's how I clean. CPUs and stuff all the time, so maybe it's not industry standard, but it works. So this pull that out. Let's assemble the heat sink. Let this go. Oh yeah, this goes like that. How how was it? Um, all right, so this was kind of fixing on that. So, all right, it goes through that right. Okay, and this was underneath. Yeah, this was underneath that. It's kind of weird for the heat sink to be covered. Oh yeah, but. There and I went out that way, so it's kind of so cut to the part where I've done fiddling with this. So I'm done assembling the fan um, assembly, let's just give this a quick wipe again, this spot over here where the card is supposed to go, there's a mark from previous um, heat um, thermal paste I think, but that's okay. So now the process is here, let's just give that a wipe as well. Now we're going to apply the thermal paste, um, just give it a quick wipe. You don't have to be this specific, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so I like it shiny. But it's going to be covered in grease in a few seconds, so it's kind of pointless. But I like doing this. Okay, so it's nice and shiny now. 
Now let's apply the thermal paste. What I have here for thermal paste is Deepcool Z5, which I got from newegg.com for around $4.9, I think. Yeah, it, was, it was on sale. It's actually around $7, but it was on sale the other day. Now pay close attention when we apply uh, thermal paste. We don't want to apply too much. Obviously, you must know by now that you don't apply a lot of thermal paste on any CPU. And since this is a smaller CPU, you don't apply it a lot at all. You just just a tiny dab. Uh, don't worry about the spreading though. Some some tubes come with the spreader like things. Uh, even this one did. But don't worry about the spreading. The heat sink will do the spreading for you. Now that seems about right. Maybe a bit more. Yeah, that's that's about right. It's just a small dab. That's all you really need for thermal paste. And you don't want to get that stuff on your um, surrounding circuitry as well. Maybe just a bit like near the edges, but not onto these, as you can see, diodes and stuff. I'm not really sure what those are. Small, looks look like small diodes to me. I'm not sure, but tell me what those are in the comment section. The small things you see around the CPU, uh, around the, the GPU, what are those things? Tell me in the comments. Um, so now what we're going to do is something unorthodox again. Um, I'll be flipping this the other way around to put it so because these nails are spring loaded so they're going to come jump back if I keep it and then turn it the other side then this is just going to become a mess and it's not going to spread evenly so what I'm going to do is like that and I'm gonna put it this way so that it locks perfectly in place and the thermal paste spreads evenly Well, is that the way it should go? Yep, I think, yeah. Yeah, that's the way it should go. So, um, okay. So let's put this like so. Waiting for the, can't see the, oh, there they are. And perfect drop perfectly in place. Now let's just get one of those dead screws. Take the screwdriver. Since these are spring loaded, you're gonna push them in a bit. Don't tighten it all the way far because then you you won't be able to evenly tighten this one. When these two are done, then let's start tightening stuff. Okay, now let's tighten that. Tighten this down. I don't have to worry about holding it. Now, put this back. And again, sorry about sorry about my commentary. I know I'm not the best at all. I'm not even close um, at doing this because I mean my YouTube channel's new. I'm just getting used to this uh, thing about YouTubing, like recording and doing stuff. I'm usually I usually do stuff off camera. But since I got the camera sticking in my face and like um, the, I'm trying to do something, it's kind of hard. So yeah, tighten that again, tighten that again, tighten that again, and that's it for this um, refurbishment. Oh, I just gotta put this in like that. Okay, so there goes the the jack, the pin. And yeah, that's it for this refurbishment. So that was the refurbishment of the um, NVIDIA GT, GT 220, um, a seven-year-old, around no, around five to six-year-old graphics card. Um, this is, like I said, the Dell body, uh, specially made for Dell computers. It looks kind of different when you buy it like off a retail store. Looks a bit different, but this is what it look like when you find it inside a Dell computer. Um, it's one GB DDR3. And yeah, that's it for this video. Um, just to notice, just, just to show you, I've done a lot of refurbishments. I'll just show you some of my other cards. Here is a Codro FX3600. I think it's the FX3600. Um, I can't remember why it was on the processor. It's a 256 MB card. 
uh, from 2003, really old, but I thought I'll just refurbish it and keep it. Um, I'm not really sure what this card is. Um, I think I kind of forgot. It's an NVIDIA card, but I forgot what it was. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you want to see more content from me. Thank you.